For this project, I used a tumbled glass heart that I had made out of this glass that I had picked up at a garage sale. I used it to make some tumbled glass, but I also could hand cut some hearts out of them to make some tumbled glass hearts. And um, the one that I'm using in this was actually cut from the corner of this plate here. And I used my uh, nipper tool to cut it. And you can see I already cut the top off. When you're cutting glass, it, it sometimes can be very unpredictable. But you can try your best with the nipper tool. So here I am with my nippers just trying to shape a piece of glass. And the reason I'm doing it on the edge is I wanted it to be a little bit three-dimensional, just not like a flat piece of um, stained glass, uh, you know, cut out of stained glass where it would just sit flat. I wanted it to have a little bit of dimension to it. So I just kind of nipped away at it and uh, tried to shape it into a heart as best I could. And then this went in the tumbler along with a bunch of other hearts I had shaped and a bunch of other glass that I had broken up. I started this project with a 4x4 canvas that I had painted with um, the Artist Loft iridescent medium and it was real pretty and this adorable ladybug stencil that I had picked up on Amazon and then of course Sam had to get into the picture and he um, knocked over my <laughs> chunky black iridescent uh, glitter to start the whole project off with a bang. <laughs> anyway, I um, taped the stencil down with some painter's tape on both sides, and then I filled in both of the hearts with the red marker. Then I used the black marker to trace the antennae and also to trace out the head of the uh, ladybug. And I'm gonna put the chunky black glitter all over his head. This chunky bit black glitter is real pretty. It's iridescent and it picks up all, you know, all the colors around it. So I take some clear Elmer's glue and I paint just his head. And then I take this little, I don't know what you call it, like a rubber stylist and um, pick up these little dots and place them on top of the sticky part, the glue. And um, huh, this was a little tedious. It did take a while to do. I had to keep on applying some more glue and then putting the glitter d dots down. And if I had to do it again, my advice would be to paint his head black first before you put the little black iridescent dots down because you can see as I'm applying it, there's a couple little white spots that you can see. So I'm having to make sure every little area is covered so that you don't see the white spots. Whereas if you had painted it black, you wouldn't have that problem. And then next I take my tumbled glass heart and I use this little stylus to put uh, glue dots all over. And then I use another one without glue on it to put the little um, black iridescent chunky glitter dots all over it for the back of the uh, ladybug. And it's really pretty, very glittery. The resin I'm using for this project is art resin. It's a one-to-one -one ratio resin that I pre-mixed off camera. You mix it slowly in a cup to help prevent bubbles. I go ahead and I spread it on the canvas. This is, of course, is dried for a few hours. And I just use my gloved hand to spread it around on the canvas and along the sides. Some people prefer not to put the resin on the sides. I like for the entire canvas and the sides to be um, covered, but some people don't. It's just a personal preference. And then I put my little heart back on there and finish rubbing the resin in and it's pretty much done. It has to sit on a flat level surface overnight. After about 12 hours you can touch it. It takes art resin a full 72 hours to cure at temperatures between 72 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. All resins are different. You have to read the directions for the resin that you are using. And then I put these little pieces of jewelry. I forgot these little pieces of jewelry on it that I got from uh, Michael's. It's a big bag of, I don't know, a couple hundred letters. And um, they're really supposed to be beads, but I thought they would be so cute on the project. 
and then it's done. Hi everyone, finished my little love bug. This is so tiny, but I think it is so cute. Isn't that adorable? I wish I had some grandkids to give this to. <laughs> so, and can you see the sparkle? How much, I don't know if you can see it, but that, um, the little, those little round glitter pieces, uh, they're kind of iridescent. I think they look so pretty on there. And then I put um, some at the end of his an antennae too. I don't know if you can see that. So maybe I should have put a little piece of glass on the, some clear glass on the heart too. That would have been pretty. But I love these little letters. I've used these in a few of my projects and I'm gonna use them in some future ones. And um, those are from Michaels. And they were, I believe they were $5.99 for the bag of them. And it was even fuller than that. And then you can always get a 20% off coupon on their website. So um, I think they're a, a decent deal. There's tons of them in, in there. There's at least a couple hundred. But anyway, I like my little uh, love bug. I think it turned out cute. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to be notified of future videos, go ahead and subscribe. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.